Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So glad to be with you all. I pray that you had a blessed week. I pray that God's blessing has chased you down. I pray that you felt God's presence in your life. Let's pray. Lord, we come before you saying thank you for another day that we've seen before. We thank for eyes to see, legs to walk, a mouth to talk, a nose to smell, ears to hear, for the blood that runs warm through our veins, our bones that give us structure, our skin that covers us up. We thank you, Lord, for the control of the air air that we breathe. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I pray now you come to the midst of us at this time that your spirit just come and fill the room. Whoever hears this, let them let them be blessed by it, Lord God. Open our hearts, minds, body, and soul. So we can accept your true and living word, Lord God. We pray you just come into the midst of us. Lead, 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 and God, our lead and God, our lives. Show us where to go. We thank you for sending your Son Jesus Christ to die for our sin. Lord, I pray you use me in a mighty way, Lord. In a mighty way, Lord God. Lord God, hide me behind the cross. Let me say your words to these, your people. Lord God, cover me with your presence, with your glory and with your power. As I speak to these, your people, Lord God. And I thank you for everything you've done for us from a baby until now. Press prayer name, name, name. Best prayer in the name of Christ, Amen. Now, all this month, we're talking about growth, the growth process. Now, last time, talking about the seed. How the seed is this small little thing that looks like nothing, but it's what's inside the seed that makes it grow in the crops that feed us and sustain us. Well, this installment called the burial. A seed can't grow if it's not put in ground. A seed by itself will not grow. The farmer digs the ground up and puts the seed in the ground and covers it up. Now that seed is in the darkness. No light. But yet and still, it still grows and prospers. There are going to be some times in our lives when we see when we're in it seems like in a dark place. No one sees us. We're not thought of. No one looks our way. But it's in those times that God's preparing us for our blessing. Now, we're still talking about Joseph now, okay? And his brothers did something to him. They dug a hole and put him in the ground, thinking that they were hurting him. They were really helping him. They were really blessing him, blessing him. Genesis 37 20 and said, This is this is this is this is his brothers talking. Come now therefore and let us 
slay him and cast him into a pit. And we will say some evil, some evil beast has devoured him. And we shall see what becomes of his dream. They want to kill him. But his brother Ruben said, no, let's just, let's just, let's just put him in the pit. They dug the ground to put Joseph put, put, put in the ground. When people are digging, are digging graves and graves and us and ditch and ditch and and they're and they're and they are trying to get us in trouble. They're digging, but God can turn it into something positive. Remember now, a seed can't grow if it's not in the ground. So we can't grow if we're not in some places that's dark, some places that's lonely. It's that seed and the ground, those are the two things that's there. The seed and the ground. When God plants us, He digs the ground and puts us in the ground. Sometimes we are the seed in that dark, lonely place. I don't, I don't been there for. Yeah, had no one to talk to. Lonely. Depressed. But what would happen is in it if in a dark damsel place we took time to praise God for what was for what was coming our way. Praise God for the future. It may, it may look dark now, but, but it's going to get better. Psalms 30 and 5 says, We may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Whew. If you work for if you are working if you're working for God, don't send any benefits right now. Keep on working for him. Woo! Galatians 6 and 9 says, Now let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap and faint not. Some Translations say we'll say we'll get a harvest. The harvest comes after the seed is grown up. After it's gone through the process of being buried. The process of in that ground, the seed opens up. And roots form. And the roots are the foundation for the plant. Will we stay where God plants us? Or will we or will we move ourselves voluntarily? It may seem hard now, but just hang in there. God got a plan. And I was in Georgia. 
at my old job, I was working very hard. Not going nowhere. Not getting nothing. Now I got married and moved to Winston-Salem. All that turmoil, tests and trials that I went through in Georgia prepared me for such a time as this. I'm still going through a day. But I know for a fact that God is with me. And if I do my part and work hard and and train, God gonna bless me even more. Look at Joseph, he went from the pit. No, 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 no. I am getting ahead of myself. He, he's in the pit right now. In the pit right now. A buried seed with nothing coming out of it. A buried seed that looks like it's done for. A buried seed that looks like it's going nowhere. But just hold on. Love while long. God going to bring you out in due time. The burial process is very vital. Not grow. We may not like it. It may not, it's not, it's not a fun time for some time, but it's necessary for our growth. Stay buried. Don't come up from dirt. Stay buried. The burial process is where we get stronger. God wants a one-on-one -on -one session with us to prepare us. Well, we allow God to have that with us. We fight against it. Thank you, Lord. Don't know Jesus. Let me introduce you to him. Let me introduce you to him today. He'll make a life brand new. He'll bring light into our place. He will make your quick like this straight. He is knocking at the door. Let him in. If you want to come to life, just say this prayer. Lord, I come before you saying thank you for the great sacrifice you made for me when you died on the cross for my sins. Thank you for shedding your blood to save me. Now I submit my life to you. Take control of my mind, body, spirit, and soul. I admit I've sinned in the past, but I want you to come in and make everything right. Thank you again. Everything is done for me, my life. I say this prayer in the name of Christ, amen. If you say this prayer, you will say, now I find a Bible-based Christ-centered church to go to so you can know more about this Jesus Christ. He loves you. He loves you. Yes, he does.
Goeth God all the way and not halfway? 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 Goeth God all the way